Good morning, you guys. I did not expect to make another video this weekend, but here we are. Um, I was just kind of going through and looking at some stuff that was posted last night, and I also follow a couple of web pages that kind of break things down and to kind of help clarify and um, streamline all of the information that is just funneling in. Um, pertaining to the end times and how close we are to the rapture. Um, I am following this web page. You guys can look it up too. It's called nowtheendbegins.com. Um, they actually just put out an article that I felt kind of pertained to the video I made last night. Um, it's just crazy um, how the masks, we are just we're just kind of being conditioned right now, you guys. And um, there's an article on here, and it's basically just going through. It says, <clears throat> his, this guy and his buddy went to a local steakhouse um, in St. Augustine, Florida for lunch. Um, and they basically were, they were told by the hostess of the restaurant that they had to put a mask on in order to be served food. Um, the guy looked around with that was with his buddy and realized that no one in the restaurant had a mask on. So he was confused why he was being specifically asked to put one on. Um, and then the hostess proceeded to say, oh, you only have to have one when you walk in, but you don't have to have one when you sit down to eat. You guys, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together that that makes absolutely no sense and that your health is not their top priority. So um, I understand that there are certain people that feel the need to wear masks. You know, you might be high risk. You know, I'm not making this video to um, single anybody out. You know, you have the choice to wear or don't wear. That's totally your choice, but I'm wanting to emphasize the fact that this is how our society has always been and we're all just waking up to it. Um, I could go into a million different things that they just blindly brainwash us on, um, the TV specifically, um, how there's subliminal messages and like everything, a lot of the stuff that we watch, even as kids, like as a kid, um, the Disney movies were really bad. Um, the Lion King especially and it's just things like that but you know you you're like oh it's it's not like it's blatantly saying it but it's the subliminal messages that um, really stick up here that kind of create the generational um, the generational like concept of just thinking like the way that our brains think so um, I just read that and was completely just like dumbfounded. I'm like, you've, you've got to be kidding me. And I, I mean, I feel bad for the hostess too. Cause I mean, she probably thinks I would hope that she just thinks that it's just completely stupid. I mean, your health is not the reason that they're mandating, you know, yes, there's a virus, but just, you know, let it go and let us just fight it off and make our own choices in that way. That's just it's just how I feel about it. But the article goes on to say, um, that this guy went back out to his car, found two masks, put them on and went back inside. And, um, he, he goes into detail and says, do you see what's happening here? Do you see the fact that they are conditioning us? They are molding us. They're slowly acclimating us to the reality and the normalcy that masks are okay, masks are okay. They're paying influencers. You guys, the people that you see on Instagram, um, YouTube, things like that, like brands are specifically paying influencers to talk about masks and to speak to younger generations, people who don't watch the president, people who, like, but they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, and if these people are just talking to them day in and day out about this and these people are getting paid, you know that there's gonna be people that are subjective to money, that are of this world, that want to just put more money in their pocket, 
oh yeah, sure, you want to pay me to go and um, advertise for how great masks are for your health and all this other stuff? Yeah, sure. And they know the demographic that they speak to. You guys, this is what's going on. We are being, we are being conditioned. And um, it just goes on to say, no one's being kept safe from COVID-19. No germs were being stopped from spreading because not a single patron in that restaurant had a mask on other than the two guys that walked in the, the door to put it on to then take it off. But what was happening was the city of St. Augustine was grooming me, conditioning me to accept the order. And if I refused, they would not feed me. I would be locked out of their system. Today is about a mask. Tomorrow it will be the vaccine and then the digital ID, AKA the mark of the beast. Um, ID 2020, look into it. Bill Gates is the guy that's running that. Um, there's so many theories on what the mark of the beast could be. Um, but I wouldn't doubt for a second that Bill Gates is going to be behind it. So, um, it also says as he's writing, was writing this article that fines were being issued for not wearing them in LA, Florida, Massachusetts, Texas, New Mexico. I think it was about $250 if they, if they saw you, um, other states are rapidly approaching. So if your state, if you're watching this from a place that doesn't have that, don't think that you are, um, obsolete from this ridiculousness it's coming it's coming um but none of these states care one a bit about you wearing a mask it's about you getting in line and obeying their orders so that when the vaccine comes you will not you will be too afraid not to take it you'll be so conditioned to oh okay the vaccine's ready i i must i must get in line to take vaccine because of all of the heightened numbers that are being influenced by way, way more things than just COVID. Okay, COVID is real, virus is real, people have died from it, and it's a shame and it's heartbreaking because this was a man-made virus um, with the sole intent of killing. My opinion, don't come at me if you disagree. Um, if they can wear, make you wear a mask, they can make you take the vaccine, then getting you to take the digital immunity passport will be a piece of cake. As the old saying goes, you are being groomed. So just remember, okay, um, I know there's still going to be people after I make this video and hundreds of other people that um, will just keep following the narrative. They'll keep following what's being told of them. They will be sheeps to this world and unfortunately those will be the people if they have not been saved. Um, if they're not a child of God, those will be the people that will easily take the mark of the beast. And um, I also want to emphasize to you that on this channel, I believe in pre-tribulation rapture. So I am not in any way, shape or form trying to instill fear in you. I believe that pre-tribulation is um, biblical. I also believe that we will be removed from this world before the Antichrist comes on the scene, before the Mark of the Beast is a requirement, um, before a lot of this stuff will be mandated um, vaccine-wise. Now, when it comes to the mask, that's about as far as it goes for me in compliancy, and even that's pushing it, okay? I have had to wear it when I went into doctor's offices, a couple of stores here and there, but for the most part that mask is off my face and that's my choice. Um, I just don't think people understand that we are literally holding on to the finest pieces of string right now to our rights, to our God-given rights. Um, and the more that we are complacent and compliant with certain things, the easier and easier it is for the Antichrist system to just roll on into the picture. Now, is that something that we can stop? No, but just letting them walk all over us, especially if you're a children of God, no. They don't own you. You're not property of the devil or the Antichrist system. You are the property of God. You are his child. And there's authority and power in that. And I just pray right now that um, you have the discernment to understand what's going on around you and that if you haven't found salvation in Jesus Christ that today is the day it gives you the eternal security 
It gives you the blessed hope. It gives you a place and a solid foundation to rest your feet in this chaotic, Satan-filled world. Um, I love you guys, and I just had to share this information. Um, and I've already said this before on my channel, that um, we are approaching the end of the church age, the, the age of grace, where salvation is simple, where it's easily obtained, where you are, if you are able to acknowledge that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, um, to shed his blood to cover your sins so that you can have the ability to get into heaven, um, just by saying a simple prayer and by also just saying it humbly, if you speak it with your mouth and believe it in your heart and believe that it's through Christ alone, through grace alone, through faith alone that you are saved and sealed, um, then you are good to go, okay? Now, <clears throat> we are exiting that time frame, and I want to emphasize this. Um, we are exiting that time, and we're going to be, once the church is raptured, the seven-year tribulation comes upon the world, you'll be in what's called Jacob's Trouble. Um, and things are already right now, like, they're starting to get pretty heated, okay? Um, if they make you wear a mask to have access to eating food in a restaurant is what this says, um, he says he will do it, and I agree. I would do the same thing, especially if I'm able to just take it off right when I get to the, the table. It's like, well, what the heck? Um, um, and it says, I will never take the vaccine. I will never. I will certainly never be here to receive the immunity passport from ID 2020. And yes, there will be a price to pay for that. Are you prepared to pay for it? Now, that question only goes out to the people who are watching this video who are unsaved who don't have their blessed, like blessed hope, eternal security, who don't know Jesus, this is that question for you. Are you willing, are you prepared to pay for your decisions of taking a Mark of the Beast? Once you take this ID 2020 or whatever the Mark of the Beast turns out to be, once you take that, you are like set. You can't take it off, you can't take it out and change your decision. Once that is in your body, on your right hand, forehead, whatever and however that looks, you have literally just signed your life away eternally to the devil to live in hell for the rest of your life. Okay? I don't say that to scare you, but that's the truth. That is literally what the Bible says. So I encourage you today to just open up Revelations, read through Revelations, Revelations 8. Um, Revelations 13, um, if you've never read the Bible before, I suggest you start in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, great places to start. Um, you guys, the end is near, um, and I'm here to make sure that as many people as possible who watch my channel, my videos, that you are raptured, that you're not here to have to endure the tribulations, and I just pray that every eye that sees any of my videos, that they are open, to their hearts are open, and ears are open, to receive the words that are coming through me as the Holy Spirit just flows through me, that you feel compelled um, to say the prayer of salvation and to repent your ways and um, get your affairs in order, all right? Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to speak on that. I love you guys. Have a happy rest of your 4th of July weekend. Um, and stay encouraged. Love y'all. Bye.